Welcome to another episode of Katara Media's Webmaster University. Interested in optimizing your return from CPA advertising? Today we're talking about advanced strategies for winning that CPA war. CPA, cost per action ads, call for more user involvement, hence the A or action part. For you, that means it's not enough to have great eye-catching ads on your site. You've got to have an ad that actually makes your visitors do something, like click, fill out a form, or buy something. Great revenue comes down to one thing, great creative. Okay, sounds simple enough, but what exactly does great creative mean? Well, there's no surefire creative hook for CPA, so like a lot of things on your site, it's going to involve a lot of trial and error till you get it right. What kind of creative do visitors go for? You never can tell. Relying on a few different ads won't work, so a constant stream of fresh new ads is key. Once you've decided on basics like static ads versus flash ads, as well as shapes, sizes, and placements, you should have an understanding of what works well for your user. The next step is to rotate in new and fresh ads. Now, the affiliate network provides some generic ads for the campaign and releases them to everyone. These ads are not going to give you much of an advantage. The best solution is to make your own fresh flash ads, which are unique and compelling. And, like any ad on your site, make sure the ad is relevant to the content as much as possible. I know that this will be hard sometimes when you have very niche subjects, but always keep in mind that you want to make the experience as congruent as possible. Context-specific ads can get 10 times the clicks and attention as non-targeted, so it's definitely in your best interest to try it. The best strategy for testing new creative is working in a 3-5 to five day window. That gives you a day to ramp up in the ad server, a day for it to optimize and to start making money, and a few days to see how it measures up. The goal is to figure out an ad's peak revenue performance, and when it declines to about 50% of that peak, you know it's time to rotate something else new in there. Some will be duds, but some will be winners, and you'll know fairly quickly which is which. You can, of course, keep the old creative in the system if you want to make it a remnant impression and continue to milk revenue for a long time, but your new ads should always be frequency capped to 1 per 24 hours per unique user. In a perfect world, you'll be constantly bumping up your revenue with new winners and keep riding that wave of increased revenue all the way to the bank. CPA is an important and profitable part of any successful ad mix. And the more creative you test, the greater your success. That's it for today's Katara Media U session. See you next time.